going to read registration of uh, pin knives. This is actually one of the cheapest type you can get. It's an Amana, and uh, there's been some people that say that it's not very accurate. In fact, insert tooling is far more accurate. Uh, so what I have here is drill rod. It's the same size as the bore on this. This is just a small head. Uh, these are, you know, these are $12 high-speed steel knives. There are far better uh, uh, things, but uh, the, the difference between the pins and corrugated is corrugated only locks in one position. So it has to be adjusted up and down. Pin knives lock in both up and down and in and out. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it on to the shaft here. I have a um, I have a Barker dial. This is a good dial. It uh, each tick on this dial is a half a thousandth of an inch. Um, so so let's let's see how it registers. So what we'll do is we won't turn the shaft. We'll turn the cutter head so that any run out on the shaft is is not indicated. Um, I'm also going to slide it up against uh, the side here so we're always reading in the same position. I'll see if I can focus in on the head. Okay. And let's see if we can get a reading here. Just turning the head. You'll notice I got the, the dial very loaded. Oh, sorry. So here we go. So we're reading that first knife. First knife is five, six, seven, seven. So let me pull back the dial so I don't snag it. That was seven. Let's read this one. Oops. Might have bumped the dial. That's it. Seven thou. Okay, there's seven. Eight. Eight thou. Uh, appears to be within one thousandths of an inch. I don't know who told me, uh, but I did ask uh, an, es an expert on insert tooling, and they said they were they were generally within 0.1 millimeter, which when you convert that, that's four thou. Uh, but I guess that's about as accurate as you could register something with a screw. Anyway, uh, I imagine, uh, you know, uh, they're fairly accurate, probably accurate than most. Okay, here I'm going to measure the dowel pins that register the pin knives. And they are threaded on. They are a hardened pin and they are replaceable if they get knackered, okay? What I'm going to use to measure them with is a Matoya micrometer that is accurate to within 0 .001 millimeters. Okay, so let's um, let's check the, let's check it for uh, Let's check the clutch and see if it's actually set. Look at that. It's perfectly set. Always hits zero. Okay, so let's start off by measuring a sheet of paper. Uh, some people have a hard time understanding how big something is. And when we're talking about these big numbers that look like big numbers, let's compare them. Okay? Uh, let's focus in. Okay, so it looks what we got here. The paper is 10, 11. And it looks like it's hitting on the 6. So the paper is 0.116 millimeters. 
That's how thick a piece of paper is. And uh, it's not this particularly heavy cardstock. That's a standard envelope paper. Okay? Now, uh, the pins, according to the manufacturers, are six millimeter pins. The Dow pins are probably the most accurate registration. If you're a machinist, you know that. Now, Dow pins cannot be larger than their specified um, a size, and these are these are specified Dow pins of six millimeters, which means they can never be larger than six. During manufacturing, there's always for parts that fit to each other's, the accuracy is either plus or minus. In the case of the Dow pin, it would have to be minus. Now that tolerance, in other words, how much tolerance is the manufacturer allowed, can be different all over the place. So we're going to measure the tolerance of this dowel pin, which is supposed to be six. Now, as you can see, we've got it in there. So, oh, we can see that it is one one hundredth smaller, one one hundredth of a millimeter smaller. So that would be point zero one zero smaller than six millimeters. Now, for measuring bores, the most appropriate tool is to use gauge pins which are certified. Matt has a set, I don't. So I'm going to use my machinist drill case which has uh, number bits, letter bits, and fractional bits. And I have found that the C bit fits into the knife very accurately. Matt will have to register this. But we're talking microns, okay? So this is a snug fit into the bore. So let's measure that. Okay, and so that will give us the tolerance of the bore, which has to be bigger than six. That's just basic machinery standards. So we'll do it. We'll focus in here and we can see that it is four. Four. Let's see what lines up. Four. Let's see what see what lines up there I'm just trying to focus okay so it's four is not there it's a little more than four looks like 4.4 4. so this pinhole is point zero four four millimeters bigger this one is smaller okay so now what is the slop well the slop would be this number added to this number which would give us uh, it's going to give us point zero five four millimeters of slop okay now let's look again at the thickness of paper and the that's the thickness of paper 0.116 millimeters that is the slop okay and when we talk about accuracy of knives being set, 
we generally are working in thousandths of an inch, but some people will work in metric, and they'll say 0.1 millimeter is accurate for setting knife. This equals 0 0.004 thousandths of an inch. So as you can see, the accuracy that most people register their knives to is approximately the thickness of paper. And the accuracy of that bore is less than half. The accuracy of those bores together are less than half the accuracy, okay? Or in inches, approximately 0 0.002 thousandths of an inch. Two thousandths of an inch. That's pretty accurate. That is far more accurate than braids tooling and probably amongst some of the most accurate machining done. And this is perhaps one of the cheapest heads you can buy. So I would, I would make sure that when people tell you that they're garbage and they don't register properly or properly, they aren't really um, got any facts. Uh, they are just reading documents from other people and uh, actually aren't putting stuff on a setting gauge or measuring it with proper machinery. And even here I'm not measuring with proper machinery. If I use dowel pins, Matt could, could, could tweak that in. But, but still, I, I'm, I'm, I, we're talking about adjusting this little number right here. The accuracy I'm working in is here. Okay, Matt could bring us to the next digit and make that even more accurate. But uh, that is the accuracy of the pins. Uh, I also uh, put the two knives together with two C bits sliding together to see the accuracy of the spacing. But obviously, the knife slides onto the pins in the head. It's it's not a big deal. So uh, that's how much is needed for slop, which I can tell you is virtually nothing. It's 0 .002 thou. It's two thou of an inch. It's two thou of an inch, or half of what insert tooling is to be set accurately to 0.1 millimeter, which is four thou. So anyway, I hope that didn't aid to confuse you, but only give you the facts.